So hey, how's it going? Welcome to the spotlight. If you are interested in human spaceflight and want to stay updated and you're new here, consider subscribing. In this video, we're going to be talking about a new and upcoming company, Firefly Space Systems. Oh no way, it's called now Firefly Aerospace. Actually, it would be wrong to say that it is a new company since it has already been resurrected from a previously almost dead company. One of its founders, Tom Markushik, or that's the way it is pronounced, he has a background in propulsion and as a matter of fact had a very senior position in SpaceX and also held very high positions in Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic. So in uh, 2014 December, he was accused of stealing intellectual property from uh, Virgin Galactic and handing it over to the Alpha development team of the Firefly systems and later it was proven that he was guilty and so all the assets were auctioned, uh, engineering was seized and in 2017 all the assets were liquidated. But not after, it was acquired by Newsphere's Adventure which promised and commented that they would fund it to its at least first two launches. So now uh, the plans of the Alpha were changed quite a bit and now it had a pump and fed engine instead of an aerospike engine. Now we can expect the launch to occur sometime in the last quarter of 2019, that is in December. Well enough about the history. Now let's talk about why this company is so ambitious and so able to look forward to. Well, for reference, let's check out their website. I'm just kidding. Well, let's first uh, look at the first rocket, the Alpha. Well, the Alpha is going to be mostly 3D printed and made out of carbon composites which is going to make it really light, modern and efficient. The company established a facility in Ukraine and now they own the biggest 3D printer in all of Ukraine. So that's why we can expect 3D printed parts rolling out. Well, for reference, the Alpha is smaller than a Falcon 9 but bigger than a Rocket Lab Electron. For reference, a Falcon 9 is roughly 70 meters tall. An Alpha is 29 meters tall, while a Rocket Lab Electron is only 17 meters tall. Well, I definitely have to say that the payload is uh, directly proportional to the size because the smallest the Electron can only carry 225 kgs to LEO, while uh, that is the lower, uh, lower Earth orbit, and uh, while the Alpha can carry 1 ton or 1000 kgs to the low Earth orbit, and while the biggest, the Falcon 9, well, it can carry. 22.8 tons and that's not where we should focus our focus should be on the payload to cost ratio so uh, the falcon 9 which is the most economical rocket in the industry uh, has a launch cost of about 50 million dollars and it can carry 22.8 tons so the payload to cost ratio turns out to be 2900 dollars per kg that's quite good but for alpha it can put about uh, 1000 kgs into LEO and a cost uh, of a launch is about 15 million, 15 million dollars. So the cost turns out to be 15,000 dollars per kg. So well, now you would point out that the launch per kg cost of the Alpha is quite higher than the Falcon 9. So how is it a game changer? Well, there are two things. Number one, that Falcon 9 hardly ever launches at max capacity. So the launch per kg uh, cost per uh, kg uh, cost of the launch is uh, quite higher and whether Alpha will or will not, that time will tell. And the second thing is that Falcon 9 and the Alpha compete in totally different markets. So the comparison of Alpha should be ideally done with Rocket Lab's Electron, which uh, has a cost per kg launch price of about $26,000 as compared to $15,000 for uh, Alpha. And the max payload capacity of the Electron is only 225 kgs, so that's a game changer. So now let's look at some of their future projects. So what's come up? So what comes after Alpha, Beta and Gamma, right? Yeah, so Beta. First, let's talk about Beta. Beta is uh, simply the heavy-duty version of Alpha, much like the Falcon Heavy and Falcon 9. Falcon Heavy is like the heavy-duty version of Falcon 9. Falcon Heavy, yeah, right? So Falcon Heavy can carry three times its payload as uh, Falcon 9 and with some amazing specs, Beta is also a game changer. Now let's talk about Gamma. 
personally it's a project which appeals to me the most it is a staged kind of a space plane with the 75% reusability asked by the company they're going to use some technology derived from the alpha and beta development and it can also be used as hypersonic transport on earth kind of like bfr the first stage of the space plane is powered by highly efficient aerospike engines and the company states that it uh, targets the cubesat market and is quite differentiated from the spacex or blue origins designs and it also claims that it is capable of take off and landing from any airport in the world how will it revolutionize the uh, space travel industry now, now this uh, i have to say is quite impressive so thank you guys for watching if you like this video you will like other videos also so please subscribe